Good afternoon, Titans. This is Mr. Sturtz, and we are on lesson 4.3. Tonight, we are going to write equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. We have two definitions, so pause it here. Write these down in your journals. Um, parallel lines, two lines that in the same plane that never intersect. Perpendicular are two lines in the same plane that intersect to form a right angle. So pause it and write those down, please. Okay, our core concept, parallel lines, this is the definition we just talked about. Um, they have to have the same slope. Okay, and also all vertical lines are parallel. Up and down, vertical lines, they're all parallel. Okay, parallel lines must have the same slope. So if we're looking at these three lines, it says determine which of these lines are parallel. They all look parallel. Okay, but what we need to do is find the slope of each line to figure out which ones are parallel. So we're going to use the same slope formula we've been using over and over again. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, let's do the first one here. If we do y2, let's say we had 2 minus a 3 over x is on bottom, 1 minus a negative 4. We know minus a negative is the same as plus a positive. If we do our keep change change, negative 1 over 5. So that first line, line A, we have a slope of negative 1 over 5. Let's look at line B. We have y2, so negative 1 minus 0 over our x is 1 minus a negative 3. Let's do our keep change change. We have a negative 1 over 4. Okay, notice B and A, those are not quite the same. Let's see if C has the same slope. So we're going to do our y2 minus y1 over x2, which is a 2, minus a negative 3. Keep change change. Negative 1, keep change, change, over 5. Okay, so what we see here is slope from line C, slope from line A are the same. So we are going to say A and C are parallel. Okay, parallel lines have same slope. All right, our next one, write an equation of the line that passes through 5, negative 4, and is parallel to this line, y equals 2x plus 3. Okay, now a big word, the key word is parallel. Parallel lines always have the same slope. So if we look at this equation, we know our slope of our new line is going to be 2, okay, because it has to be parallel to this line, to this equation. Now, we're given a point, we're given a slope, so let's use point-slope form like we used yesterday. Remember, point-slope form, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. We're going to plug in. Okay, we are going to, remember, we're leaving our y alone, y minus y1. That's our y coordinate of our given point. Let's go ahead, keep change, change right away. Equals our slope. Our slope is 2. That's our m times x minus x. That's our 5 in the coordinate given to us. Okay, we want an equation of that line. Let's go ahead and put this in slope-intercept form. Okay, so if we have y plus 4, we need to distribute over here. So we have y plus 4 equals 2 times x is 2x. 2 times a negative 5 is a negative 10. Let's go ahead and move our 4, so we're going to subtract our 4. y equals 2x minus 14. Okay, and that equation is parallel to this line. Notice our y-intercept's negative 14 in this one. Our y-intercept's 3 up here, but the slopes are the same, so those lines are going to be parallel. Now, they give us two points here. They say line A passes through negative 5, 3, and negative 6, 1. Line B passes through 3, negative 2, and 2, negative 7. Are they parallel? Well, we know parallel have to have the same slope, so let's just find the slopes very quickly. Okay, negative 1, we've done this many times before. Subtract our y coordinates. Subtract our x coordinates. Let's see what we get here. Keep change, change. We have a negative 4 over a negative 1. So we know that simplifies to a positive 4 over 1. Line B passes through these points. So we have negative 7. Subtract our y coordinates. Over 2 minus 3. Keep change, change. Keep change, change. Equals a negative 5. Uh oh, these are not the same. So are they parallel? The slopes are different? No, not parallel. Okay, they have to have the same slope to be parallel. 